Hey, uh, I recently had a lot of queries about uh, WebEd uh, in regards of web push notification. I believe you have a little bit of context of web push notifications already. But yeah, let me give you a bit of context that how does it work? So the journey of web push notification begins when you agree to receive notification when on the top left the browser asks you for web push notification consent and you say accept I want to receive notification that's when the journey begins now when you say accept right uh, what happens so inside the browser browser generates the endpoint that this is the endpoint for for me for this domain to receive notification you can a uh, developer can use that endpoint to send a notification to the browser or to the OS that the OS where the browser is installed right so this is the way it works so how does this endpoint gets generated so this endpoint gets generated with the help of a public key so and then in order to send a notification to that endpoint you need to possess the private key that is corresponding to the public key so what is this private key and uh, public key Upla? so you can think that public key is a kind of lock and uh, private key is a key right so the person who possesses the key can only open the lock not not anybody else right so so in order to have in order to have a capability to push a notification you need to have a private key once you have a private key you will be able to send a notification to the endpoint that is generated in correspondence to the public key right so how does how this public key and private key thing evolved so initially when web push notification started on chrome it was gcm right so gcm used to give a server api key which used to help to send notification and there is another key against which the subscriber is subscribed the same thing happened on fcm when it it moved from gcm and fcm then webit was introduced so now let's talk a bit about webit webit is uh, uh, agnostic protocol it is not uh, it is not uh, married to any given browser right if you write a code for chrome the code will work for edge opera and multiple other browsers except uh, safari safari has its own way of sending notifications safari does not work on the concept of webit but most of the other browsers do right so that is another thing about webit so you just have to write a single code for all the other browsers except safari right and other thing is that this webit in order to generate this public key and private key uh, there is an algorithm to generate this private key and public key right uh, so uh, you, anybody can generate this private key and public key for it for its domain and uh, then uh, public, public key is stored on in the browser and with the help of private key the notification could be sent I hope uh, this answers lot of your queries. Thank you.